Oh. Well, hello there, residents of Ponty Pandy, said Station Officer Steele. Welcome to the annual show around. This is the time when we get to show you around all the important work that we do here. So if you've got any questions, just ask me. And be careful and remember to wear your safety hats. Well done, folks. Make sure you keep those hats on throughout this tour. First, let's have a look at the safety equipment that we store up these stairs. Follow me. Now, if you follow where my hand is pointing, said Station Officer Steele, you will see that there is fire extinguishers, a bucket, a tool, some other hammers and some cones, all very important parts of fire rescue missions, as you can understand. During the speech, Naughty Norman looked curious and very, very, very naughty. Dillis leaned over and said, Now remember, Norman, there's no touching today. I don't want any of your funny business, OK? Now, commencing the next part of the tour, behind you to your left, you'll see this is where the firefighters store their very important uniforms and their hats. We've also got a picture of our lovely staff there, featuring myself, a fireman Sam, and Elvis, of course. And then to my right, we've got a map here. This shows all the important locations. Let me just show you how Juno launches off and how we signal the master alarm. Follow me. Now, signalling the master arm is very important because this tells all the firefighters that they have to come at once because there's an actual fire to respond to. Let me show you how it works. And this lovely looking jet ski here is called Juno. Juno is used when we need to rescue someone quickly out at sea and it's operated by one single firefighter. You'll see there's one seat there and a steering wheel. Now to release Juno, all we have to do is this. We loosen her up here, like this, and then Juno is actually able just to launch off like this. Now if you'd all like to follow me, I'll show you where the helipad is. Come on folks! Once all of the other people had followed Station Officer Steele to the helipad, Naughty Norman felt very naughty. <laughs> Now I know how to work Juno, maybe I can use Juno. And he hopped straight on. That's the master alarm. It looks like Naughty Norman's been very naughty. You can slow down. Just try and press the brake. Come on, you can do it. Press the brake. Brake! Fireman Sam launched a rubber ring round his neck for his safety. Come on, Norman, jump on board. Now, Norman, I think we're going to have to have another little chat about your safety at sea, aren't we? Yes, yeah, sorry, Fireman Sam. Hmm. They pulled back into the fire station.
Building on fire. Unit 25 responding. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching, click on one of these four boxes to continue the fun. All emergency vehicles to McDonald's on Lakeland. There's an accident. All emergency vehicles to McDonald's on Lakeland. There's an accident.
So the emergency is over now then guys, so all the uh, emergency vehicles are returning to the emergency service centre. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Hello. Well, it was another busy day on Dale's Farms. Let's take a look at what everyone's doing. We've got Billy over here and he's doing some digging right over by the JCB. We've got Bob and he's having a little break because he's resting from his tools. There's a wheelbarrow. We've got some important signs here telling us it's under construction. And of course we've got the bunny, the pig and little Jim there looking after everybody. Well, I suppose I better get on with my work before the sun goes down tonight. Hey, hey. Yes, what is it? I've just seen something down there by the road. Really? What have you seen? I've just seen a truck going really fast. I think it could be doing something bad. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing bad. Let's go over and have a look. So they walked over and so did the pig and so did the bunny to get a better view of what was down below. And what they saw was a policeman. Oh yes, I'm just checking that the traffic is going at a safe speed for everybody so nobody gets hurt. So far, so good. Oh no, that massive Tonka Tanker was going way too fast and it's heading straight for the farm. I must phone for backup right now. He radio dispatch. Hello, this is Dispatch 192. How can we help? There's a massive Tonka truck going way too fast and it's heading straight for the farm. Quick, send back her. Okay, we'll be there in just a moment. We're going to need to dispatch the police. We're going to need to dispatch an ambulance. And we're going to need to dispatch a fire engine. Meanwhile, the truck was going so fast it didn't see the signs under construction or work in progress. It headed straight for the farm. Within seconds, they all broke out in flames. Oh my goodness, they need help and they need it quickly. straight at the scene, making sure nobody was actually hurt or in the vehicles. Everybody luckily was safe. They cornered off the area with important cones to make sure nobody came through. And they radioed to ask the ambulance to hurry up just to make sure no one was hurt. Next to a ride on scene was the ambulance coming through, make way. Amy, the ambulance crew, quickly inspected the local passers-by to make sure they weren't hurt and that nobody was distressed by what had happened and then quickly ushered them away from the scene to make sure nothing else went wrong. Come on, away now. The police asked them to wait all the way over there to make sure they were out of harm's way. Not a problem, let us know if there's anything we can do to help. So the police was there, the ambulance were there, but there was one important part of the puzzle missing. Where was the fire crew? Let's radio and ask them to hurry up. The fire crew started driving in. They brought extra back 
pick up an extra water because it was a very big fire. Okay, up a little bit, left a little, pass me over that way. We've got to get water on the fire. So the fire's going away well, the extinguisher's helping, but it's all a bit of a pickle. We've got to put more fire out this way. The fire crew were able to spray a lot of water very quickly, and one by one, the fire starts to go out. Almost there, just a few other fires to put out, just down there. Just one more lot of water, please. Thank goodness we all acted fast and well as a team today. Well done to the ambulance crew, well done to the fire crew and well done to the police and the speed gun policemen for spotting the bad man driving too fast on the motorway. Click on one of these four boxes to continue the fun. See you there! What is your emergency? Leaders eastbound from 
Ottawa. Go ahead. Humpty Pandy's Welsh dragon has been causing havoc recently. He's been setting fire to things all over the village and now he's heading up to the scrublands where there's lots of dry grass. This could be trouble. The dragon breathed out with one fiery breath and settled the grass alight. Oh no! And then he flew off. He wasn't going to hang around. Here come Fireman Sam and Elvis in Jupiter now. Fireman Sam and Elvis have been following the Welsh dragon all day, putting fires out all over the place. But this looks like it could be a huge fire. So they unroll the hoses and get to work. Come on Elvis, says Fireman Sam, let's get busy with these hoses. But oh no, they've run out of water. Jupiter is empty. They've used all the water and all the other fires. I know, says Fireman Sam, I've got a fire beater and also we have a shovel. We can use some earth on the flames. So Fireman Sam beat the flames and Elvis threw earth all over the flames and it started to work. The flames started to die down. Wow, good show chaps! Come on Elvis, last little bit! And then the flames were out. Well done chaps, that was an excellent way to put the flames out. But they both felt really exhausted I think it's time to go back to the station for a nice cup of tea and a sticky bun, says Fireman Sam. Righty-ho, says Elvis, let's be on our way. There we go then, guys. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Ask your favourite adult to help you with this. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Upon one of these boxes to continue the firefighting fun. in the country. They were in Ponty Pandy and Daddy Pig was taking Pepper to see Fireman Sam. He also had Mummy Pig and Little George in the car. Here they come now, they're nearly at the fire station. They 
were met outside the fire station by Station Officer Steele, Elvis Cridlington and Fireman Sam. OK Pepper, I've got a fun day planned for you, said Fireman Sam. But firstly, you need to look the part. You need to dress like a firefighter. Pepper Pig just couldn't wait and as if by magic, she transformed into a firefighter. Peppa Pig reporting for duty, said Peppa Pig to Fireman Sam. Good show, said Fireman Sam. Let's get you into the station and let's see what we have for you to do. OK, Fireman Sam. And with that, they all waved the Peppa Pig family off on their travels. Inside the fire station, Station Officer Steele wanted Peppa Pig to hear the master alarm. So Peppa, brace yourself, this is going to be loud. Oh, I don't know about this, said Peppa. It'll be okay. It was very loud and it was very scary. <laughs> I don't know if I like that station officer still. Now there, there, Pepper. Why don't you go upstairs and see Fireman Sam and he'll show you our fireman's pole. <gasps> OK, that sounds exciting. And off she went. Now then, Pepper, this is our firefighter's pole. Let's have a go. First up was Fireman Sam. Whee! I never get tired of that, says Fireman Sam. Come on, Peppa, it's your turn. I feel a bit nervous, says Peppa Pig. Oh, Peppa, you'll be fine. You'll enjoy it. OK, Fireman Sam. Here I come, she says. fun can I have another go please please can I have another go please well Peppa another day we've got something else to look forward to we've got a visitor a very special visitor with a very special vehicle <gasps> Fireman Sam what can that be well come on we need to go outside and have a look <gasps> oh Fireman Sam I can't wait I can't wait oh let's go outside oh this is so much fun Outside the fire station, Peppa Pig got such a lovely surprise. This beats jumping in muddy puddles any day, Fireman Sam. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that, says Fireman Sam. And then she couldn't believe her eyes. First of all, she could see Elvis Gridlington with Venus. Then she could see Station Officer Steel with Venus number two, which was bigger than the previous Venus. And lastly, she could see Tom Thomas with an even bigger Venus. So then, Peppa, we have three different size Venuses, so we will always be ready for any emergency. Oh, Fireman Sam, that's amazing, says Peppa Pig. Please subscribe. guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club so it's a very exciting day here in the MG Tracy Club we have not just one unboxing today but we have two we have double unboxing day and our first very special vehicle is Venus and it's not just one vehicle but it's two vehicles in one it's a play set uh, this particular vehicle has sirens and sound effects and also phrases. And uh, we'll just take a look at the back. So here's Venus, here's the water carrier, and this is the second part. This is the control center. 
so Fireman Sam can take messages and find out where emergencies are from this area here. And also here it shows that there are other accessories including an axe, a shovel and a broom. And here it shows the pump in action. It actually works guys! So let's take it out of the box and take a closer look. So here we have the hose that's pump action and this is the water carrier section so this can be filled up with water to work the hose and here inside we have the accessories Including my favourite, the broom. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and uh, we can just slide that in there so it can be kept on the side. And here's the control area. I have a fireman stand that's going to go up and investigate. Looks good to me, thanks, fireman Sam. And also, the side of Venus comes down here, and let's see what happens when I press the horn. Great stuff. And here comes Fireman Sam now. And he's with Station Officer Steel. That's our Venus two-in-one vehicle playset. Let's check out our Fireman Sam Remote Control Turbo Jupiter. So then guys, let's take a look at the box first. And here's our radio control turbo Jupiter here and our controller just here. And a great picture of Fireman Sam. So let's take it out of the box. Oh wow! So here's our Jupiter. Lovely bright shiny red colour. And uh, here's the ladder. And here's the fire extinguisher at the back. And it's made of rubber, it's very wobbly. And there's Penny up in the front cab. You can see Penny, Elvis and also Fireman Sam and his driving. And at the back of the box, this is very cool guys because it gives you a little play scene. You can see um, Norman Price's mum, Dillis Price's shop there and also Bella Lasagna's restaurant. And it's a great picture of a road in Ponty Pandy. And here comes Jupiter now.
Tom Thomas has been having trouble with Wallaby One. He's brought Wallaby One to Mike Blood and his workshop to see if he could fix it. Righty all, says Mike. I'll see if I've got my tools. So Mike goes into his workshop to see which tools he has to help Tom Thomas. Meanwhile, Tom Thomas starts her up. She seems to be misfiring. So Mike tinkers away, banging here, banging there, to see what he can do. He needs one last tool to fix Wallaby One. So he goes back to his workshop to find it. And without warning, Wallaby One bursts into flames. Mike Flood is in shock. Firstly, that he had a narrow escape. And secondly, why on earth would Wallaby Rum go up in flames? Tom Thomas makes sure that Mike Flood is okay. Then he rings Fireman Sam immediately. And here comes Fireman Sam to the rescue. He makes sure everybody is A-OK -okay and then he uses the Super Soaker. The flames start to disappear. Good job, says Tom Thomas and Mike Flood. We don't know what we'd do without you, Fireman Sam. Well, the thing is, Tom Thomas, you should always get the right professional for the job. And Mike, as good as he is, is a handyman. He's not a mechanic. You need to get a mechanic to fix Wallaby One. Right all. But no harm has been done and everybody is safe and well. That's the main thing. Take care then guys, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club.